In this video, we explore the hills of Chingford and Wolfham Abbey in search of amazing skyline views, and we have found some. your first time on my channel my name is Michael I'm a London-based time-lapse cityscape and architecture photographer and on my channel I teach time-lapse as well as explore unique London locations as well as locations around the world that offer a phenomenal skyline view and today we're starting with our first skyline view at Wolfham Abbey Today we're starting our adventure at Cordwell Meadows, which is literally just where we parked the car and we're going to be walking onto a hill I have never been to before and the view from there should be really good. Let's go! A quick walk through Cornwall Meadows, which is a park located in the Lee Valley. Then we reach the main road that the Cornwall Meadows is next to, cross the road and follow the path right next to the road with the gate. So we just found a path that will lead from the main road to the top of the hill. That's at least what we hope. Turns out the H2S trail is a 75 mile walk created as a legacy to the 2012 London Olympics. And this is what we're following to the top. We literally just started climbing onto this hill and suddenly I look back and the view towards the skyline is phenomenal. Everything from Canary Wharf area, slightly obstructed halfway, but towards the city, it's everything. What a view, wow. I can't believe I've never been here before. Hello. You're tired it's hot. already. It's so it's hot. hot. It's a pretty cool spot. I mean, what an amazing view there behind me. You probably can't see it because of the phenomenal depth of field of the 20 mil 1.8 that I decided to do uh, the vlog with today uh, compared to my usual setup being the iPhone. But yeah, hopefully this should give you all the cinematic vlogging perfection uh, one would want. So I found out about this view from a vlog series by John Rogers that does a lot of walking around London and he was walking this path towards Essex somewhere and he showed this view. I'm like, oh my God, I've never been here. And what a view this is. Absolutely phenomenal. Just look at some of these photos. At the top of the hill, you will find an old World War I anti-aircraft gun stand that used to be there to fire against potentially the Zeppelins, but the legend has it, it never actually fired once. I need to get my 500 on and show you what you can see towards the skyline with the 500 here, because this, this alignment shard above the city cluster looks phenomenal. Wow, what a view. This is truly spectacular skyline viewpoint. So none of my images at this time of day, I expect to be any sharp. All the buildings on the skyline, even at the 500 mil, that, that's a phenomenally sharp lens. Unfortunately, all like wiggly and soft. And that's because the earth is releasing the heat or the heat is bouncing off the earth. I don't know exactly what the effect is called, but you just can't get a superb skyline shot through miles of distance when you're shooting in the middle of the day. And it is two o'clock and it's quite a hot day, even though it's not like boiling hot, it is 20 or 20 something degrees and in the sun it actually feels like more. So this is a spot I will definitely have to come back to when it gets a little bit cooler, sometime maybe around sunrise or sunset with low humidity, 
decent amount of wind, not too much to prevent the camera from shaking, uh, as well as, um, yeah, just good weather. Good wind, low humidity, good visibility, and less heat, so it needs to be a little bit colder. And then, the spot in here, I think, will be phenomenal. I would love to, absolutely love to see this shot taken at night or at blue hour. Oh, definitely need to come back here. Truly amazing view. Right, let's go to place number two. From the car park to the top of the hill, there's barely 10 minutes walk. So now that I know this, I know I will be coming back here to get some really good either sunrise, sunset or blue hour shots. And next up, we just arrived at the bottom of Paul Hill. And in here, we're gonna climb the famous viewpoint that we know that exists and what the views from it like. However, just after that, we're gonna head further through Epping Forest to see potentially another viewpoint I've not been before to. So yeah, it should be exciting. And as a side note, kids love Epping Forest, especially because at some point when we walk through it in the middle, there's this amazing swing from a tree. So yeah, they're, they're definitely up for that. So we just got to the top of Pole Hill. There's a beautiful bench and these two statues, these two obelisks that I will tell you about in a second. However, the trees are now so high up and the branches reach so high that I remember being here about five years ago and from here, from the bench, you could have a phenomenal view towards the skyline. However, now it's unfortunately not possible. So what you have to do is go above this bench towards the statue obelisk uh, monument on the left and just right next to it you'll see the vista of the city skyscraper cluster all sort of bunched up together uh, perfectly above the trees let me show you how does it look like literally from here a little bit of odd trivia. The see the two pillars uh, on both sides of me, behind me? Well, this one was installed first to mark the Greenwich Meridian. Turns out it was in the wrong place. So they installed this one. Apparently that one actually now is where the Greenwich Meridian runs through this hill. Now we're walking through Epping Forest uh, to get to the other side. And everyone whom I spoke to since we entered the park said that that view is so much better than Pole Hill. So the plan is we get to the top of the hill and we have a little picnic, uh, enjoy something to eat, something to drink. And I might even get a chance to shoot a little time lapse at that time. But yeah, we'll see. It seems that in order to get to Yardley Hill, uh, we need to actually walk quite a lot down from Pole Hill, uh, and then what's going to be left is the climb up. And now we are starting the real ascent, and Olivia's already had enough. It's a hill, right? So we got to the top of the hill, but I can't really see much of a view. So I think that we have to actually head to the top north east corner of this field to see the city, because there's quite a lot of trees behind me that are obstructing that view. Literally the moment I said it, I looked back and the phenomenal vista literally just opened up. So yeah, this is where we're having our picnic, this is where we're staying and enjoying the couple of hours here. I mean, this picnic with that view is an absolute treat of a day. And what better place to have a nap? So I did.
and then I opened my eyes staring at blue sky with some clouds of course, only to lift my head and enjoy a vista towards a unique skyline viewpoint I have not seen before. And as a last time lapse I decided to set up a view of just the fields and the skyline and thankfully it actually captured the two other picnic goers as they were packing and leaving the field. I really like how it turned out. I reckon this is one of the best fields in London that you can have a picnic and enjoy Skyland View. This place is it. Today has been just amazing. We had beautiful weather. We discovered two new views, revisited a view a, that I knew about, but it was the other two that we literally discovered today that I found absolutely phenomenal. And now I know I have to be revisiting them. I would encourage you to check out the playlist I did that's called Best Views In, where all the videos that are included are actually explorations of certain neighborhoods where I point you out and show you the best views in those neighborhoods. And this video will be included in that playlist.